Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you step by step how you can model this kitchen sink. So let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly, let's go here to document setting and let's go to units and place it in centimeters because Today's drawing will be in centimeters. So let's get started now. Let's start through a new sketch. Select this plan, for example, let's go to the top plan and then let's go to rectangle and click here, center rectangle to start exactly from the center. The first dimension, as you see, it will be 50 tab 90 units, in our case, centimeters. Double click on the mouse wheel and now let's add some radiuses. So go to the fillet, Select these lines OK, but we will choose the radius of 5 for this ones. Finish the sketch, everything is fine and then extrude it and drag this arrow. Let's extrude it, for example, with 20 units. It doesn't matter too much. OK, and now let's create a sketch here. So create sketch on this surface. Let's go to the top plan for a better view and let's go to the rectangle again, also from the center. Somewhere here and we'll have basically a square because both dimensions will be 40. Then press OK. Let's add some sketch dimensions. Here we need to have 5 and at the other side also 5. Finish the sketch. Let's go here, extrude. Select this part, drag it in the opposite direction and let's extrude it with minus 16. Good, let's go to the fillet for this time and pay attention here. We must select all of these four edges. Okay, and for those ones we need to have a radius of 5. Okay, and Let's click here this plus button, add selection set. Let's select others. Okay, but for those three, I believe work just fine. And if you are okay with them, just press okay. Check this out. Okay, another sketch here, also on the same surface, create sketch, top. Now let's go here to slot, center point slot you must choose. Somewhere from here, from the middle, this line must be 14. Enter and the thickness, let's say 12 works just fine. Sketch dimension now. 3. Finish the sketch, go to the home plan, extrude opposite direction with minus 14. Fillet, but for this time select just the button. And this is all. And write 3. Good. Let's create here another sketch now. Create sketch, top. And we will work a lot now with the offset command. You can have it here or you can press the O letter. So offset with minus 1. Now offset the same, also the same boundary with minus 3. Offset this boundary with 2, offset this one with 2, and now let's use the trim command. Okay. And here let's add a radius. So let's go here to fillet, select both because it's too sharp and then let's select radius of 1, why not. Finish the sketch now and let's extrude them. So E letter, the first one, the most exterior one with 1 centimeter. Let's make the last sketch visible and let's extrude it again with 0.5. Let's make the last sketch invisible again. OK, and now let's add some radiuses. So we need to select four edges. So the first one, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. 
you can see better now. And for all of those, the radius will be 0.3. But now let's click on the plus button and let's select also these two edges. And let's write 0.75. Press OK. Check this out. Let's use the shell command now. Select this part and also the button. And let's add a thickness of one centimeter. I believe works just fine. It is enough. Here, another sketch now. Create sketch. Let's go to top. Also slot. Also center point slot. Somewhere from here, I believe. We need to have here a line of 11 and the thickness 2 works fine. Now let's go here to rectangular pattern, select this plan, drag it here in this direction, write 17 tab 5. The same thing in the other side as well. So also rectangular pattern, drag in the opposite direction minus 17 tab 5 enter finish the sketch home button and now let's extrude it extrude them also also pay attention here so i want to be at the same level with this surface so i will write 0.5 centimeters and then press ok then let's add some radiuses so let's go to fillet and select each edge so pay attention again and for all of those the radius will be 0 0.25 let's have a better look so go to the inspect menu and go to the section analyzes select this plan for example and let's have a look so this is the first sink the second sink you can see and the last part so everything seems to be fine now let's make the sink drain so let's create a hole for example here also keep it in mind you can also create a sketch here you can draw a circle and then to extrude it and to have a hole but in this case we can also do it like that to be five so our hole is five it's perfect okay and let's just let it like this we will do the same thing here also with five pay attention good okay and the third one for the tap water here a hole but the diameter will be smaller so smaller than five let's say three okay i believe it worked just fine good okay and fillet again select all these six edges so two three four five and six good six edges let's write 0 0.1 and for the final step let's go here to physical material and let's add metal and aluminium it doesn't matter which one and here it is our kitchen sink is ready i hope this video helped you if you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time